So hi everybody. Today is going to be a little bit different kind of video that I'm filming. Um, I'm going to walk you through my office and I'm doing this because my husband got me the sweetest present this weekend and I thought it would be fun to share it with you. And then I thought, well, heck, if I'm going to do that, I might as well show you the office. So um, first of all, I'll apologize for the wobbly video because I am not a professional videographer. Um, and I'm going to turn the camera around now and just show you what I got for my, um, he said early Valentine's Day present, what I got this weekend. And uh, then I'll walk through a little bit of what my office setup looks like. So hang on, let me flip you around. Okay, so we'll start first with my cute and adorable assistant over here. This is Mushy, and that's her place of residence all day when I'm working. Um, she keeps me company and chimes in on conference calls because, you know, she's a cat. Um, anyway, this my office is actually was a dining room when we moved in, and I've worked from home for almost 14 years now, so we converted it into an office, and my mother very kindly gave me this really nice uh, desk that she had from when she was a real estate agent. So now it lives here with me. Um, and um, my friends call my office uh, air traffic control because you can see I have multiple monitors. Um, and that's just one of the nice things um, I've been fortunate enough to have because of uh, working from home for so long and it makes my life so much easier. So anyway, um, you can see there I have um, a a desk that, um, or a shelf here that my husband made out of stair treads to get my monitors up at a higher uh, level for ergonomic reasons to make it eye level. And the nice thing is then I have all this storage underneath, which right now is a little messy. Um, and then you'll see I've got my planner here. This is my personal planner. This is my bullet journal for work, which is just a, a notebook that I use. Um, and then I'm gonna pan over a little bit and show you my cool new addition. So um, the uh, lateral file cabinet he actually bought me a couple of weeks ago. He, I mentioned to him at dinner one night that I wanted to get rid of what I had here, which was an old hand-me-down shelf that was falling apart. Um, and so he came home from a thrift store with this beautiful um, lateral file cabinet that I absolutely love. So the top drawer has miscellaneous office supplies and then the bottom drawer has files. Um, and then my printer for work, a fan because I'm a middle-aged woman and we have hot flashes. And then the PA standard is the stomps, this beautiful thing. So let me come over a little bit closer and show you this. I told him, again, this was another thing. I've been working on organizing and cleaning my office for the last couple of months. And I told him that I wanted something to put um, all of my pens in. And I had seen... Um, Somebody on Instagram, I'll post, I'll share the link to her post down below, but she had these beautiful Lucite uh, clear plastic shelves in her bookcase that she had her pens in and I was describing it to him and telling him I wanted some. So we were, we were planning to go to the um, container store over the weekend and when we got in there on Saturday, I couldn't find what I was looking for and I said, it's okay, I've got some in my cart on Amazon and we walked around the corner and we saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I absolutely love it. And he said, well, you should buy it. And I said, oh no, it's way too expensive. Um, I don't want to spend that much money. And he said, honey, you probably have $1,000 worth of pens. Why are you worried about spending $100 on a case for your pens? And um, he just picked it up and put it in the buggy. So... There you go. So anyway, this is a Bisley, B-I-S-L-E-Y. They have them at um, the container store. They have a bunch of different colors. I'll include a link down below to make it easy for you to find. I went with this really pretty pink just because I thought it was feminine. And the thing I like the most about it is how neat and tidy um, it makes everything. Now I just need to figure out how to make the rest of that neat and tidy. But anyway, so let me show you what's in here. Um, and I'm almost embarrassed to show you all of the pens that I have, but I know I'm sharing this with my fellow uh, stationary junkies, so you guys will understand and appreciate this. So in the top drawer, and these things are huge, it's like 17 inches deep and I think 13 inches wide, so it holds a ton. So in this drawer, I've got like my quote unquote most frequently used pens. Ha ha, the, not including the pens that are in the pen case over there or the pens that are over there, which I think that's going away. I'm going to move them into here. Anyway, sorry, I hope I didn't make you dizzy. 
Um, the next drawer has all of my um, mild liners, which I did not realize I had so many. So this has been a very interesting exercise, just getting this organized and showing me how much I really do have in terms of my pen addiction. Also have my Tombows um, back there. So that's what this drawer is. And I'm going to make labels for this very soon. And then the next drawer, I have miscellaneous, mostly gel pens, some ballpoint pens, and then a few small office supplies here. Um, then the next drawer is all felt tips. So Sharpies um, and um, paper mates. And then underneath there are some other um, felt tip pens. There's my Erin Condren pens from way back when. So that's all felt tip. And then this bottom drawer is more felt tip, but this is back from my day of um, days when I was a, a scrapbooker. So these are all the pens that I used to use in scrapbooking. So you'll see Creative Memories pens back here. There's some gel pens um, and then a bunch of, of um, Zig. These are ancient, I mean, probably 10 or 15 years old. So if you ever wonder if Zig is worth the money, the answer is yes, because these still work like they were brand new. Um, so anyway, that is the beauty that has added to my office. I'm so excited about it and it holds so much. And once I get my labels in, it will feel organized and I don't know, it just makes me happy to look at it. Um, yeah, so that's my office. Um, I'll just pan around here. You'll see that I have bookcases. I have these curtains up because I'm on Zoom calls all day. So I close those curtains and it's like having a wall. There's my ring lights because it's so dark in here today. Um, again, because I'm on Zoom calls, so it makes my room a little bit brighter. And then there's my other bookcase. And then we're not going to talk about what is behind that. That is the husband's desk. And there's a reason that it's behind a uh, distraction. So, yeah, that's my office. This is where I probably spend 14 hours a day, at least 10, 12. You might recognize that if you're an old Creative Memories person. That is an one of their um, boards that they used to have that's magnetic that I love. And then I have some artwork that Mary Beth made when she was a teeny baby and my mom and stepdad. And that calendar there is actually Mary Beth's photography. We do one every year of her photography and I love looking at it throughout the year. So anyway, the big news was sharing my cool pen case with you guys. I just was so excited about that. I hope you enjoyed this very short video of a quick walk through my office. Thanks everybody, bye.